Teachers tell us they got the news today just like everyone else. The head of the Arizona Education Association says educators were not involved in making this call. News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink continues our live team coverage tonight in Midtown with Teacher Reaction. Good evening, Eric. John, good evening to you. The president of Arizona's largest teachers association calling this a head scratcher and one Tucson High teacher, a science teacher, questioning the science behind the governor's decision today. Maria Jenis teaches biology at Tucson High. She's stumped by Governor Ducey's executive order. We've become adept at teaching over Zoom. And from an instructional point of view, it makes no sense to me to bust everything up for the last quarter. She's getting ready to go back to class for hybrid learning later this month, where she says she'll teach her lesson plan in the morning in person and teach that same lesson plan in the afternoon to her students over Zoom. My biggest class for in-person is 10, and I have one class with two students. At 61 and with a 79-year-old husband, Jenis is set to get her second dose of the vaccine this weekend, but she believes it could take weeks to develop immunity to COVID. She fears going back into the classroom as a carrier of the virus. And I will give it to one of my students who will take it home and their grandfather will die of it. That's a really scary responsibility when I've spent a year basically sheltering in place at my house. Joe Thomas leads the Arizona Education Association. He says before this, individual districts at the local level were making reopening decisions. And Wednesday night, with only hours to process the governor's executive order, some educators are confused. It's really curious to see the governor come on the statewide stage today and release an executive order via Twitter, not talk to educators as he's releasing it, and saying we're all going to be on the same page in about three weeks. It's disappointing. So a lot of educators are scratching their heads right now trying to understand what the governor's really wanting us to do. And some, like Maria Jenis, are left feeling even more uneasy. So I'm going to feel like there's a knife at my neck. You either do this and risk your life and risk your student's life, or you lose your job and you lose your house and you can't feed your family. That's what it's come down to. Now, I spoke with Tucson Education Association President Margaret Cheney earlier this afternoon. She says in her mind, the governor's decision will make it more difficult to keep teachers and students physically and socially distanced when they both come back to campus. We've got you covered live tonight here in Midtown. I'm Eric Fink, News 4, Tucson.